Hello, lovely people. I'm Stella from Stella's Yarn Universe. I hope you're all doing fantastic. I miss you a lot. I'm still in the middle of decorating my new home, but I still wanted to record a little tutorial for you. So this is going to be a short one, but hopefully a helpful one. And in this quick tutorial, I show you how to embroider eyes for your amigurumi using the French knot method. I've been working on a squirrel pattern for you. So this was my test run and here I embroidered the eyes using French knots. So, if you've been um, a bit stressed about French knots, I, I know some people are, then I hope I can demystify them for you. But um, if you just don't like them, of course, you can um, just make several stitches and um, embroider the eyes this way if you want to go for that um, circle look that usually the safety eyes provide so and the good thing about embroidering eyes is that you can do it in the middle of cr crushing the head like I will do here I still have the head open here but the good thing is that you can also crush it and um, also embroider the eyes once the head is done and closed and this is one of the perks of it as well as um, being play friendly so if you're making these amigurumis for your kids to play with or your grandkids or any kids really um, then this is a really good al alternative and with that being said um, I just want to mention that none of my amigurumi are meant for small children to be played with because especially not the ones that have wire feet um, like all the birds do but um, in general they are all really small and um, many of them small enough to be swallowed so just just please keep that in mind I just wanted to say that um, but if you're making them for children for for older children um, but still you want them to be completely safe without safety eyes then this is a really good alternative or maybe you don't want to use plastic or anything like that that's um that's really a good option so let me show you how to do that we'll need yarn so i'm using this black shapeless katona yarn which is I believe lighter than DK or light weight, uh, light, <laughs> light worsted weight yarn. Um, if you know what, what weight shape is Katona is, please let me know in the comments. I always forget. Um, but you can use any, um, any yarn, depending on the size of your amigurumi. I mean, this obviously will be quite small, maybe this much altogether. So. I'm going for this yarn, but depending on how large you would like the eyes to be, you can choose um, lighter or heavier yarn or even embroidery thread. And then we'll need an embroidery needle and it would be good if it's pointy because then we can stitch through the fibers as opposed to stitching through in between stitches and this way we have more control over where the eyes go then we need scissors of course and if you have pins with with heads on them they are useful to um, just figure out where the eyes should go before you actually embroider them I didn't find all my craft supplies yet so I only have this <laughs> bent one here but that will do. If you have two, it would be ideal, but I'll be using the one. And then, in case your needle gets stuck, um, small flat pliers may come in handy. But don't worry if you don't have them, they are just 
they are just useful but uh, not a must have for this and um, for this tutorial so let's get started with our french knot eyes so i'll just cut maybe 30 centimeters 12 inches of yarn and thread them on my needle And now before we get started, I just try to figure out where to place the eyes Before we go ahead with the tutorial, I just want to point out that the placement that shows for this trial squirrel head the, the placement of the eyes is much better than this one this looks much more squir squirrely to me. <laughs> Just something I wanted to point out. But anyway, you're not making a squirrel yet. But maybe in future, when my squirrel tutorial is there, you get back to this video and then you place the eyes in a place that you perhaps won't be happy with. So I just want you to know that I think the eyes look better like one round forward. I think this this looks good. So then I just pull the pin out a bit and then close to it but not quite the same spot because um, I want to leave room for the eyes. So the let's say for the size eyes that I'm going for and I would usually if I had safety eyes I would have used them um, five millimeter so I stitched the pin through in between rows and now I'm stitching the, the embroidery needle through in the center of the row just as a reference maybe you can see that and then that's where the eye begins and then it will end in the center of the next round. That's how much space I leave for the eyes. So I just stitch that through. And then just leave a long enough end so you can tie the ends together in the end. Lots of ends in that sentence. <laughs> so the pin can now go. And now here comes the little bit tricky part, but don't worry, you've got this. So here we have the yarn coming out and we hold the needle against it, close against it, and we hold it in place with our thumb. Also hold the head in your dominant hand, I would say. Then we wrap the yarn around the needle and here you can again decide how um, how many times you would uh, like to wrap it around. The more times you wrap it around, the larger the eye gets. Um, I'm going to go for four wraps this time. So let's see how that turns out. One, two, three, four. And then we push them all down together and now it's important that we don't let go of the needle and don't let go of the yarn so I'm holding this yarn end with my pinky and ring finger in place to hold the tension then hold the head of the amigurumi with my left hand and again and I even place my thumb on the yarn here just to make sure because now we need to pull the needle backward so here this is where the eye begins and then we want to stitch through somewhere there so now we pull the needle back until we are able to stitch through there so this is where I now 
stitch through to the inside of the head and while you do that don't let go of the yarn it's I hold it in place with my thumb and here it may be tricky to pull the needle out so if you have pliers great if not what I sometimes do is I push the needle head against the table just um, don't do it if your table is prone to scratches. So then anyway, I have to do the rest with the pliers, but I, I've done it before without, but it, since I have them, I'll use them. And then I just hold my thumb on the loops that we made just to make sure they don't come loose and pull tight and that's our eye sorry about the shade on this side I still have to sort out my light situation here <laughs> so that's one eye done and I also show you how I do the other side so we keep this yarn end out of the way we can already make a knot, just a double knot with these two ends to secure this eye. I think that's a good idea. You don't need to do that if you're doing it with an already finished head. Okay, so this one's secured now. So these are quite small. If you like the eyes bigger, you can again, um, like I said, wrap the yarn around more times, or you can go for heavier yarn to begin with. So now I'm trying to figure out where the other side goes. So it's this in between these two rounds. Oops. Should be about there. So actually, let's let's cut off the yarn here because it's secured, and I don't want to have any tension inside the head because if I stitch straight through to the other eye, then maybe that just causes some tension in between the eyes and. Um, messes with the shape of the head which I don't want so here again we have the pin in there and then I stitch through the fibers close to the pin and you can start anywhere you like but I start at the, the um, inside like clo closer to the nose So from the inside out, or I'm not sure if I mentioned that, sorry, I wanted to, um, that was my intention. So if, if you're doing this with a head that's complete, then you would stitch through uh, somewhere here or depending on where you want to sew the head on the body. So if the body goes down here, and this is the place where the head will be covered by the neck then that's where you would stitch through because then you can tie the leg yarn and or whichever contrast color you use together and have a little knot there and it won't be visible because it will be covered by the body so I'm just pulling this out And the pin can go and now again we hold the needle close to the yarn close to where the yarn exits the head and then we wrap the yarn around the needle 
and go for four wraps again to match the other side then don't let go of the needle don't let go of the yarn I hold it in place with my pinky and ring finger and even with my thumb that I um, I have the head as well as this yarn end pinched in between my index finger and thumb so that it's secure now I can let go of the needle and pull it backward far enough so that I can stitch through where I want the eye to go which would be here hopefully it looks right let's see so let's see if I can do this without without pliers while I'm doing this I also don't let go of the yarn still I hold my thumb on the loops just so that they don't come loose Hang on while I do this with my t-shirt and because my hands are too sweaty for this. I promise you I did it without pliers. <laughs> I held my t-shirt like so and then, <laughs> then it worked. Okay, so I hold my thumb on the loops while I pull this tight. And that's our other eye done. Pull the other yarn in tight as well. And here it is, second eye done. So now, just make a double knot and cut this off. And that's it. Eyes all done. So next week I will show you how to crochet this squirrel. And you can make a red one or a gray one. I know uh, that in America you have gray ones. And here in the UK we um, predominantly have gray ones. In Europe there are red ones. So in Germany where I grew up... Um, that's what I thought of as squirrels and then I came here and noticed that they're all gray and that's apparently because they came from America and they were just dominant over the red ones and so unfortunately the red ones um, escaped towards the north so now they're still in Scotland and I believe they are also in uh, parts of England and um, yeah but their numbers are very low sadly but I believe they do improve now because of a certain type of um, marten. And the red squirrels know how to not get eaten by that animal. But the gray ones, because they're not native to um, the environment here, they don't know and they get eaten, which is sad, but good for the red squirrels. <laughs> Anyway, I love both of them and so I'm going to make a grey one and a red one. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much by the way for your kind words and well wishes on my last video where, in which I explained what's going on in my life at the moment. And yeah i can't wait to crochet a whole project with you together very soon until then take care and happy crocheting bye